So what's the most important vector in staying sober? What is the one thing that you should be thinking about once you stop drinking alcohol that will keep you going and keep you on track, keep you on this journey? For me, it's to look at your life from perspective, to look at the range of your life, to look at the perspective that you've got a lifetime full of great things that are now gonna happen to you because you've stopped drinking alcohol and to take things bit by bit to approach this whole journey as uh, from the perspective of I've got to do this, then that, and then that. Anything that you want to do in your life has got to be done bit by bit. That's the way any long-term goal is achieved in life, you know. And one of the reasons why it's so successful is it takes the pressure off you. You know, once you look at things, you're not looking at, you're looking at the goal, you're looking at where you're going to aim towards, but you're looking at it from the perspective of in order to get to that goal, all I have to do is the next thing that I can do, and then the next thing that I can do, and then the next thing. And all of those things add up and accumulate until you get to the goal that you want to achieve. For me, this is the sober guarantee. This is what guarantees your success. It's first of all, systematic. You do one thing, then you do the next thing, and then you do the next thing. It's dependable. If you do the first thing, and then you do the second thing, and then you do the third thing, then all of the rest of the things are gonna fall into place. And I think the most important thing is that it's adaptable. You can adjust as you move forward. You know, you can adapt to the situation. Uh, the amount of goals that I've had in my life that have changed when I've started to put them into action, uh, almost everything. You know, uh, the only things that haven't really changed are the short-term goals, but any long-term goal that you have, they're gonna change in the sense of the goal itself, in the you know, you, as you move forward, you might understand and realize that you, you don't actually want to get to that goal. A lot of the times it's, you're just adapting in the sense of you're changing the goal slightly or, the, you know, uh, sometimes you're going to change the goal radically. You, you know, sometimes you might abandon the goal and say, think to yourself, well, now that my mind has changed and my thoughts have changed, I don't actually want to get to that goal anymore. You know, that's not something I want to do. So, yeah, you're abandoning the goal and then um but it's always abandoning the goal because you're you've adapted another goal you think something else is going to be uh, better for you but this whole situation is about moving away from alcohol and moving towards your potential that potential that goal at the end of the day is only a potential until it's realized so you know don't get too attached to your goal your goal is there at the beginning just so that you have a place mark you know something that you're going to follow something that you're aiming towards and that's it so don't get too attached to it just move forwards thinking this is part of my potential as i get more experience as i get more knowledge about myself as i get more understanding about myself as a sober person or beyond sober then i'm going to be able to think things through in a much clearer way and maybe i'll change the goal maybe my potential is much beyond that you know and uh, as i said it comes down a lot to expectations as well what you expect of yourself and that's one of the biggest things in my own journey is that my expectations will also grow i think it would be helpful here to give you a couple of examples so one of the first things that i did when i stopped drinking alcohol was i made the decision that i was become uh, going to become a teacher and I hadn't taught anything in my life before. I mean, I taught my kids stuff, but I really wanted to teach something and I decided on habits as being the thing that I was going to learn and how to teach. Now, um, like I said, this was all new to me. Um, my, the way I was gonna teach was on YouTube. I was gonna have to learn all these different things and um, I, I just didn't have a clue, but it's that step-by-step -step approach. Now, as I'm standing here 10 years later, I've done, uh, 1500 videos on YouTube alone and countless videos that we've done over on the uh, Habits V2 program um, and it's just an evolution if I go back and look at my first videos they're cringy you know I just look at them and think Jesus what was I thinking now they're a lot better I mean I'm no um, Steven Spielberg by any stretch of the imagination but I'm improving uh, and I'm, it's a deliberate process step by step trying to improve one thing at a time you know that's the only way you can do it the next example for me is reading books now I normally read two books a week so I've read about a thousand books since I've stopped drinking alcohol I just love reading I love learning it's a part of my life it's always been a part of my life 
a lot of the stuff that I've been learning I didn't know how to put into action before I stopped drinking alcohol because I was damaging myself so much with the alcohol but it's just part of me growing stronger. In my early years I used to try and remember everything that I read but since I've stopped drinking alcohol and the more I read the more I read not to remember but to learn. So there's very few things that I physically remember from each book. I mean there's some things that stand out but for me it's all about the patterns it's all about the ideas and the general direction and that is something that i've done as an iteration it's something that i've learned as a skill it's something i've learned as i've moved forwards so how can you implement this how can you implement this bit by bit long range perspective strategy first thing is find a goal in one area of your life in v2 what we do is we try and make a balance across all areas of our lives we've got about 12 categories that we look at we try and balance your growth your goals across all those areas and you know we try and have perspective within those areas but in terms of taking things bit by bit you have to find one goal one single goal to aim towards and then aim towards that once you've got your goal then you can break it down into milestones and what I'm saying is that you know in six months time I want to be here in Two months, in three months time I want to be here, in two months time here, in one month's time here. And then once you've got those milestones, I mean, it can be anything as a milestone, you know, they could be, if you want to go out running, then you could say to yourself, I, I want to run a marathon. And in order to run a marathon, I've got to run a half marathon. And then I've got to run a 10K or a 5K before that. I've got to do a 1K. So you've got to break things down into that kind of milestone. And then once you've got your milestones, then you break those down into individual objectives. So in order to get to a 1K, I've got to be able to run a thousand meters right so how am i going to do that what do i need what equipment do i need and ask yourself what is the smallest step i can take next part of this journey i think a, one of the biggest parts of it is just to get momentum you know to get set out on the journey you know to get going once you get going you'll find that momentum will carry you forwards and once you've got that smallest step then it's taking the next step and the next step and the next step all right i want you to watch this video next on how great sober life can be take care I'm and upwards.